Hello you guys! Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. You guys have been loving my favorites video so I'm back with another favorites video for the month of July. I love talking about things that I love. I love sharing things that I love so you don't waste your money and yeah. I get to just talk about things I love. Who doesn't love to talk about things they love? So let's jump in. I've got quite a few this month and I'm super excited to share them with you. Let's start with food. First thing, I have to talk about this. I hunted this down today. Actually, I bought three bottles, two bottles, two bottles. I wish I bought three. I couldn't get any more. But this is the Chobani Creamer, the S'mores. It's limited edition, so I really hate that I love it so much because it's probably gone. I can't find it in my Target anymore, but if you can find it, get it. It's so good. It's the perfect amount of sweet, creamy, just so good. I love all the Chobani creamers, to be honest with you, but the s'mores, it's freaking good. It froths really well, but you don't need a ton to get that creaminess in your coffee, that color that you like, whatever. If you're a creamy girl, you know. This is just so good. Ingredients are super simple. I honestly don't like marshmallow flavored things. Like I only like s'mores. So I was like, why did I get that? Cause I probably won't like it. Cause it'll probably be marshmallowy. Like I don't like um, Grace crispy treats or anything, but this is so good. If you can get your hands on it, get it. Um, I got mine at Meyer today and it also said that Jewel had it nearby, but Meyer was cheaper. So I went with that. To go with my coffee, I've been, obsessed with this little electric mixer. Like why did it take me so long to get this? I have a frother for my hot coffee. It's like a heated frother, which I love, but I haven't been drinking a ton of hot coffee cause it's, you know, 90 degrees outside. So I wanted this for a couple reasons. A, to give myself a cold foam with that creamer, which it frosts up so beautifully. And then B, to mix with my um, greens, my Better Day Greens powder. So I've been loving this thing. It's fun to use but it's really quite functional and I can't believe it's taking me this long to get it. I got it 10 bucks from Amazon. So if you have been on the fence with an electric mixer and you like coffees at home, give it a go or you use green powders, I really like that. Oh, it's on and honestly, it surprised me with how good it is. You could also use it for my next pack that I'm gonna talk about. Liquid IV released new flavors, but not just new flavors, they released sugar free flavors, which I know a lot of people had like reservations or just like that was a con with Liquid IV is how much sugar was in there. Now you have to understand that that is formulated for a reason. Like these are replenishment. They're meant to like the sugar helps with the absorption and all of that. And then also if you're like depleted of like fluids, you need electrolytes, you probably need sugar as well to just kind of like boost it, but whatever. I understand why people were not a big fan of it, but when they released these, I was like, heck yes. They still are super sweet. They're not unsweet. They're made with, um, what does it have? Sucralose, I wanna say. Allose, whatever the heck that is. Anyway, it's got less calories in the little six, they're like 20 to 15 calories, 15 to 20. But other than that, these two flavors are probably inched their way up to the top of the list. Because know I love the tangerine immunity one. I love watermelon, strawberry, but then now this peach, it white peach is like my new holy grail. Replace all of them, my favorite. This I've been using to make my little mermaid waters from Sonic. It's like a, I like tried to make it at home. I'll leave a picture right here. But if you get the wa mermaid water from Sonic, they use sugar-free peach, lemon, it's just water, sugar-free beach, lemon, and strawberries, like chunks of strawberries in there. And I've been using this, oh God. obsessed, 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 obsessed. And also the green grape is really good. And I'm not typically a grape kind of girl. I don't love their purple grape, even though Scott does their Concord, but the green grape, super refreshing, so good. So if you've been on the fence and not tried Liquid IV in the past because it has sugar in it, try those flavors. They also came out with lemon lime, but I don't like lemon lime unless it's like carbonated, personally. But anyway, I also do have like an affiliate code, so I will leave it here as well as, it's always linked in my um, description box. So yes, it is so good. And I highly, the white peach is like, blows my mind. Okay, let's round off food with these guys. So I did a taste test of this. The, they're the legendary foods. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about the cinnamon rolls. I haven't been able to find those. I found these at Target, 
but I found these and I've been craving pop tarts recently and I don't have a problem with like giving into my food cravings but if I can pick something that has more higher protein for like a sweet tooth throughout the day to kind of like keep me fuller I will choose something like a protein bar or something like that so this I was really impressed with the flavors and the macros on them. This is the brown cinnamon or brown sugar cinnamon flavor. It's not a pop tart. It's not flaky. It's big. It's thick. It's like puffy. So good. Wanted me to show you? Okay, I'll show you. <laughs> Hold on. Let me open it. I ripped it open. These have 180 calories in them and 20 grams of protein, which is pretty insane. And they actually, in my opinion, taste really good. I've tried three different flavors. I tried the chocolate cake. The brown cinnamon sugar, so you can see it's very puffy. My mouth's watering. I'm going to eat this. It's very cake-like, I would say. Um, it has the brown cinnamon sugar. And then there's the strawberry. These two are my favorite flavors. So good. You can microwave them. I never have. I preferred, I've always preferred my Pop-Tarts, like, cold. They're gluten-free, keto-friendly, all the things. But I really just like how it's like a sweet tooth sort of nostalgic flavor for me but i'm getting protein that will help me keep me full um to power through the rest of the day i like having one of these if i'm gonna run errands after my workout i just snack on one of those and it kind of just picks me up with energy in terms of the sugar but it also just keeps me full because it's got a lot of protein in it so i've been loving those things if you've tried any other legendary food things let me know in the comments down below what i should try next but i thought i would like the chocolate cake one and it kind of disappointed me. So you can get those at Target though, or on Amazon. Okay, that's it for food. Let's move on to hair. Um, so I went a little bit shorter with my hair, I think last month. Um, and I've been playing around a little bit, styling it, but I've also just been like in the pool more and washing my hair a ton more. So I wanted some hairdos that I could do or hairstyles basically getting my hair done without spending a ton of time and a ton of like, I don't know fuss with it so I did a tutorial on how my like quick summer blowout I th I'll throw that video up in the cards but I want to share with you the two products that I've been loving for my hair this month which are these two in combination so I've had this Revlon blow dryer brush for years now honestly but I had never used it on my short hair and I love it on my short hair so one of you all actually said like because these can be notoriously very damaging for your hair so i pretty much let my hair dry to like 90 percent 90 to 95 percent and then i just smooth this out through it i don't i don't have this on my hair very long you want to be careful with that it can be really damaging for your hair and i also keep it on low and i use a heat protectant so i have been loving how just like sleek this makes my hair and it's so quick, so easy, helps with humidity because it smooths out the hair follicle, I believe, for me personally, and it's been so good. Now, I don't love that it is a blow dryer, so I did actually get a thermal brush, but I'm still playing around with that a little bit before I like talk about it and or film a video about it, but this still has been a game changer for my blowout routines, and I mean, if you're in a pinch, you could let your hair air dry and then do that unless you, if you don't wanna bring like multiple products with you, but it's good to go with that i've been loving the bumble and bumble thickening spray i have tried a couple things from bumble and bumble and honestly i'm impressed every single time i do um this i just have notoriously very fine hair it's i have a decent amount of hair but it's pretty fine and i feel like i hate the feeling of like product in my hair i hate mousses really I'm not a huge hairspray girl so this I like because it kind of gives me thickness to my hair without feeling ugh. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? When you like put stuff in your hair and you can like feel it in your hair, I feel like this gives me a little bit of hold, a little bit of body, a little bit of thickening without feeling like, oh girl, you have so much product in your hair because I hate, I like how mousse looks in my hair, but I want to wash it out like the next day because I hate the feeling of it when I rub my fingers through it. So this is like touchable volume that I feel like just, it's good. So this in combination with that Revlon brush plus my Kenra blow dry spray, which I think I mentioned like last month or the previous month, game changers for my hair. But I bought the little mini. I already have, an, I already have another mini. Um, Ulta was doing like a, or Target inside of Ulta was doing like a mini sale, so I stocked up. But I love this. You don't need a ton. Um, I spray it on my roots and then a little bit down the shaft of my hair, but this is 
a game changer for those fine hair girlies that can't use cream or anything in their hair or weighs it down or just feels too thick. Try this. I swear you're going to love it. That's it for hair. Let's move on to fashion. I'm not going to lie, I don't have a ton of fashion favorites. Honestly, I've been living in activewear dresses. So the first one is this red activewear dress. Um, I got this from Halara. I did a video with them this month, but this is my favorite athletic dress that I've ever tried. And this color, I didn't realize how much I loved red like a red pink sort of color. This is called poinsettia, 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 whatever on their website. It doesn't look nearly as vibrant as it is in person, like on their website and probably in camera. Gorgeous. Love the fit of this. It's spectacular. People ask me the difference between this and the um, Abercrombie Traveler this 10 million times over. It is so freaking good and I've been living in it. I've been wearing it. I've probably worn it like five times this month. It's so good. It's just easy to throw on. You can do it with walks because it has like shorts underneath. I will throw it on if I'm going to go like go on a bike ride with Arlo. It's just been super good. And then next up I have a bathing suit. I did a little Shein bathing suit try on video and this was one of the bikinis that I tried and I've worn this I want to say three times this month at the pool as well. I love this swimsuit like style so much and I like the coloring the yellow the blue I think it's fun but it's a very classic silhouette and I feel like for my body it's pretty flattering so I love this and if you haven't checked out that video I will throw it up in the cards if you're looking for some swimwear options um let's move on to accessories these sunglasses if you watch any of my vlogs you've seen these a gazillion times they're so cute I had no idea that they're like dupes for Ray-Ban I didn't even know they were Ray, like Ray-Ban dupes, but these are from Amazon and they're such good quality. They're all black. So the lenses and the frames, I've just been really enjoying this simple silhouette. I've really been in my sunglass era recently, I feel like, with the like crew dupes and then these. So good. And then last but not least, this has been like, I've been meaning to talk about this bracelet for like four months now and I forget every time in my favorites video because I'm always wearing it. So I took it off on purpose today to show it with you guys or share with you guys. This is the Anna Luisa. I don't know the technical name for it, but I call it my star bracelet. I love this thing. It's got little gems as like, I guess stars or flowers on a gold chain. It's so pretty. It's so simple. It layers so well with my gold and silver watch. I've been loving really dainty bracelets. I feel like I never was much of a bracelet girl, but I've been really into jewelry recently. So that is a big favorite of mine for the past couple months, but I just now am remembering to share it with you guys. So I do also have a code for Anna Luisa. This is not sponsored and I, it, I'm not affiliated. Like I don't get anything back from them, but you can use the code. I think it's 20% off if it's still active. I will have it linked down below. Let's end off with beauty. I have quite a few beauty items. Starting with this guy, I bought this a while ago because I saw it in Taylor um, Kiss and Makeup's vlog like forever ago or empties video or something like that and I bought it and I just felt like I didn't use it and then I've been wanting to just like conceal my dark under eyes for the gym so this has been my go-to for the gym so I put on my tinted SPF whether it be CeraVe or Elta MD or whatever and then I will just put this like underneath my eyes and wherever I might need to conceal for breakouts. It's not a ton of coverage. It's just such a brightening, deep puffing rollerball that just simply does that. Brightens and adds just a touch of coverage. I used to wear this all the time. Back before I had kids, kid, before I had a kid, like in college, this was my concealer. It was so good. It's really that good. I love it. Um, and I'm happy that she like reminded me about it again. So this is the Clearly Bright by Garnier Nutriche. Garnier Skin Active. Wow, my eyes are bad, but this is so good. Um, it's got a little metal tip to a rollerball to it. And yeah, I mean, this thing will last you years because it is so, like you don't need a lot of product, but it just blends into the skin so beautifully and just brightens and illuminates and helps cover if I got sleep or not that day, <laughs> that night. Another product that I've been loving for this month is, or this past month is the Kosas um, Dream Beam SPF. Now I love it. Will I? <laughs> Probably. <sighs> I'm like, will I rebuy it? I love it. It really is like the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. You know, that like wand stick 
kind of like a foundation but not really a foundation this gives the exact same finish but it has spf in it so it's spf 40 so it's such a beautiful look to the skin i can wear this with just a little bit of concealer and my face just looks glowy and put together and it also has a bit of like blurring slash filling in so it's kind of like my benefit primer as well it really is a do-it-all sort of product that's why i've been loving it for the summer it's pricey for what you get honestly 0.14 fluid ounces and it's $40 it's pricey but it is really good and it has skincare and it's got it's a mineral SPF by the way it's got peptides and ceramides and hyaluronic acid and allotonin I don't know what that is but I really have been enjoying this I just use it very sparingly not really underneath my makeup a ton anymore because unless I'm going for a very light makeup look because I just feel like this is such a beautiful product that I want it to be used to shine on its own um, because it's pricey but it is so so good so if you haven't tried it and you've been on the fence and you don't wear a ton of makeup I think you would really like it or even I mean even if you do wear a ton of makeup it's just such a glowy beautiful product so you don't really want to just cover it with like a bunch of pr products over the top. I digress. Um, the next guy, this Patrick Ta plumping, what's it called? Major volume plumping gloss. It's good. It is a plumper though. Like it is a burn lip sort of plumper. I have it on right now. I have it in full syringe. His name's kill me. It's not a ton of color, but you can build it. The more you apply it, I feel like it kind of slightly stains your lips, but not too much. It's beautiful. I will never probably get lip fillers just because I can't even imagine what it would look like on me. I feel like I would look like a total duck, but I love this gloss. I feel like it's very much like the um, Merit Beauty and or the... What's it called? The Yummy Gloss. Where is it? The Yummy Gloss by CoverGirl. Um, but it's got plumping effects to it. So it's a very like oily, glossy sort of thick lip balm. It's not sticky. But it's plumping. It's good. And that color is, I think, really pretty. I don't like a ton of really bold lip colors, so that one is perfect for me. This fragrance. I even got Neilani to get it. This is the um, Dossier Musky Musk. So it's a dupe for the Juliet Has a Gun, not a perfume. Yes. I have the original one as well, but this one has been, I mean, I just got it this month and I'm obsessed. If you have not checked out Dossier, this isn't sponsored, <laughs> but I do work with them a lot. I truly love their fragrances such a good deal before you ever really buy a full and high-end full price fragrance try dossier see if they have it first it's so good again this isn't sponsored but i do believe that i have a code i have a lot of codes uh, <laughs> i really work with brands that i love so it's easy when they provide me with a code i want to tell you guys so you can save money but that is so good it's already affordable so anyway moving along to our last two favorites both of these products were featured in my diy beauty video that i did this month and this is the norvell venetian handheld tan solution one hour rapid liquid sunless tanning situation now this is meant to be used with a spray gun i have an error brush gun um that i will use it with sometimes or i will just take it in an old pump bottle or you can just buy pump bottles generically on amazon and use it as like a foam tanner so this is like i want to say this is 20 less than 30 dollars for this whole bottle eight ounces loving tan just put it in perspective which is my other favorite one four ounces for 60 dollars craziness you're getting double the amount for half the price one hour gives you a light tan two hours gives you a medium tan and three hours gives you a dark tan i did this yesterday i left it on for about two and a half hours and rinsed it off it does give you a color guard so you can see where it's going on and then it rinses off beautifully so good literally so good doesn't like flake off patchy that's a big thing for me in sunless tans is like a lot of sunless tans look beautiful when you first apply them but it's how it wears like i don't want like horrible crepey hands and whatnot but if you are new to sunless tanning or wanting to try sunless tanning i think that's a really easy to use ugh, hair formula but i do have a full sunless tanning for dummies type video i will throw it up in the cards it's old 
well older it's like two years older but um just apply the same techniques doesn't matter what you use just use the same techniques i use in that video but that is my new favorite obsessed such a good price as well and then this guy right here this is the eyelash and eyebrow tint in the color black i do not use this on my eyebrows could you imagine i've been using it on my eyelashes though i've been using a lash serum which i know people are like all up in arms about eyelash serums i don't use mine but maybe once a week to maintain at this point but it apparently it can be linked to like fat loss around the eye um in moderation i don't know anyway i've been using the babe lash and i think i'm still on the same one that i bought that like months ago anyway um i feel like my lashes are really long they're just blonde so you can never see them so i like tinting them especially in the summer because you just get like a mascara look without actual mascara so if you're somebody who feels like they look completely different without makeup on but like their lashes are their biggest thing like for me like my lashes make me look like a completely different person even if i have all my face makeup on but i don't have my lashes on i look different than how i look day to day so tinting my lashes kind of gives me that lash extension look without having to fuss with the lash extension so if you feel like you have good lashes but they're really blonde I really like try this amazon so good and i've used it twice this month i think they say it lasts between six to eight um weeks but anyway let's finish off my favorite category which is random which i only have one for but it is my little woobles kit <laughs> okay you guys um i got targeted by a facebook ad like everyone in the world but this is the woobles learned crochet for beginners kit it comes with everything you need the yarn the step-by-step -step videos which are amazing or you can just like follow the um pattern a pre-started piece which is awesome a little hook stuffing eyes yarn needle everything you need to do it is right here so amazing like literally this was my first piece that i ever made he's a little wonky but you know what he's cute this is Fred the dinosaur. You can get them on Amazon, but you can also get them on their site. Like, how cute is that? It is a hobby I had no idea that I needed. So this was the first one I followed every tutorial online, and it still took me forever, and I probably had to start over twice, but worth it. This one I did without the videos, and I just did with the little, um, like, instructions, the template, whatever, pattern template, and this is Sebastian the Lion. And I have Felix the Fox, which I'm going to save for my road trip. And I already ordered five more. <laughs> like, I'm obsessed with this hobby. It's the perfect wind down for me. Once you learn, there's like three stitches, four stitches involved really in these crochet kits for the most part. And um, they will get more advanced. You can pick between each patterns. Like, one is more advanced than the other. But the videos, even though, like, they may be more advanced, like, the videos are so insanely helpful. And I'm obsessed. They're a small business, and they um, are just awesome. I feel like they make starting a hobby, learning a creative hobby, super attainable. Like, I am somebody who, like, didn't want to be stressed by a stress-relieving hobby, and this just did everything for me and Arlo's obsessed with them and I think they're the cutest things in the entire world and I look at it and I'm like I made that I'm really proud of that that is so cool so I feel like I got better with the second one than I was with the first one and I just can't wait to continue doing more so if you're looking for an artistic way to kind of like unwind a new hobby or whatnot i definitely recommend checking out the woogles kit like i said you can get them on amazon they're the same price as if you were to get them on the site um or they're a little bit more but then you don't have to pay for shipping so and you get it in two days but anyway they don't have as many patterns but i just bought like the mix and match of five i'm obsessed so cute it would be a super cute gift for somebody as well I'm obsessed so that's it you guys that's it that's all my favorites for the month of July I can't believe it's August in a couple days and summer is winding down but I have had such an amazing month of July thank you guys as always for watching this video and if you're curious to check out anything I always have it like in this little shopping 
button thing that YouTube does, shopping bag thing, or you can check out the links in the description box down below for any of the products that I mentioned. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite was that you tried this month, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video real, real soon. Bye, you guys.